You're the one that I want. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What are you doing? I'm admiring the suntan. It's not bad, is it? Hey, no, you could take me for one of the local fishermen. A few tattoos on the arm, one of those silver medallions glinting against the skin, an earring, perhaps? Oh, it's amazing what a suntan can do. Well, I wouldn't get too attached to it, David. It'll be a pile of dead skin in a couple of weeks. <laughs> not if I can help it. Hey, I can't wait to see their faces at the corner shop when I walk in with this tan. Eee, where have you been, Mr. Pierce? My beer. Eee, my Bella. <laughs> Gulps of astonishment all round. Grocer catches hand in bacon slicer. But you bing. You know, you don't get a tan like this in Skegness, Amy. Oh, look at those teeth. The tan certainly makes them gleam. Mind you, I've always had good teeth. Must make plenty of calcium. Not bad, eh, senora? Better looking than any man deserves to be, David. Thank you. People at the corner shop think you're in league with the devil. All I'm saying is I don't look bad for a man of 40. Five. <laughs> Forty-seven, David. Oh, you certainly know how to wound, Amy. Now, come on, be honest. Do you think I look my age? No. You see? You look older. <laughs> you what? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. It's just that every time I look round, you're either the swimming the length of the pool or doing press-ups or leaping over somebody. I thought we came on holiday to relax. But I don't want to relax, Amy. I want to get fit, shed a few pounds, get lighter on the feet. What for? So you can leap around Linda? I don't leap around Linda. Yes, you do. I've seen wire-haired terriers with more self-control. <laughs> When she's being particularly nice to you, I half expect you to roll on your back and kick your legs in the air. Just because Linda and I don't lounge about in the sun all day, because we believe in keeping fit, as Linda says, you look after your body, and your body will look after you. Well, that's what she says, is it? David, whose body are you looking after? Mine. Well, that's all right, then. Do you think she looks her age? Who? Linda. No. What is her age? I don't know. Well, how do you know she doesn't look it? She could be 16. Oh, don't be ridiculous, Amy. Linda looks young because of the yoga. Oh, yes, I've seen her at the yoga. Down by the pool, all in knots, staring up her own bottom. <laughs> she looks like a stranded squid. As a matter of fact, she's very good at it. She can do some, oh, astonishing things with the body. Yes, I'm sure she can. It requires a great deal of control. You should try it, you know. Do you good. Oh, you mean next time she makes a pass at my husband, I should assume the lotus position? I mean that Linda has discovered the secret of inner tranquility. That's why she looks so young. Oh, I thought it was because she put slices of cucumber on her eyelids every night and covered herself with olive oil. Poor Robert. Must be like going to bed with a tossed green salad. <laughs> Still, I suppose it's handy if you're hungry in the night. She doesn't do that. Oh, yes, she does. She told me when she was advising me on how to get rid of my crow's feet. Didn't know I had any till then. Do you think I look my age? No. You hesitated. No, I didn't. What were you doing, counting the wrinkles? No. You think I'm a withered old prune, don't you? Of course you? I don't, love. I could see it in your eyes, oh, Dave. They're just a few uh, laugh lines, love, that's all. Well, I don't know how they got there. <laughs> I've had nothing to laugh about. Oh, I have had a hard life, David. I was two inches taller before I married you. That's right. I knew I'd get the blame. I don't look too bad for a woman of 37. 39, Amy. All right, but I still look younger than Linda does. You know, she's one of those women that will age dramatically, probably overnight. She'll wake up one morning looking like something out of Lost Horizon, wandering around, gnashing her toothless old gums. Hey, give us a kiss. <laughs> on the other hand, will have a beautiful old age. Oh, of course you will, Amy. Of course you will. But I haven't reached it yet. I'll, uh, see you down there. And you can tell that to the green salad. <laughs> what are you looking at? Can't you see it? There on the wall. Oh, yes. What is it? I think it's a praying mantis. Good Lord. <laughs> no, pass me a magazine. I'll swat it. No, you won't. <laughs> it's most unusual, very rare. Do you realise when we get home, we'll be able to say we shared a room with a praying mantis? Yes, Linda, I don't expect to have to share a room with anyone, not of these prices. <laughs> and certainly not with a praying mantis. It probably bites. No, it doesn't. Perfectly harmless. Unless you happen to be another praying mantis. <laughs> Did you know that after they've mated, the female devours the male? What? <laughs> you mean, eats it? Bites his head off. Good Lord. 
No wonder he's praying. <laughs> no, I think that's the female waiting to devour the male. What do you mean? He comes along and uh, gives his all. The sheep bites his head off. It's the law of nature, Robert. Once he served his purpose, that's what happened. Hey, but does it have to be eaten our room, Linda? I mean, it's... Oh, it's hideous. Not to another praying mantis. Put you off sex for life. <laughs> oh, hello, Robert. Something the matter? Do you know what that is? Praying mantis. Really? Yeah. Oh, and I never know that praying mantis look like that. Yeah, ugly looking brute, isn't it? After they've mated, the female devours the male. I didn't know that. Yeah, head first, David. That's the female up there. What's he doing now? I think it's saying grace. <laughs> Morning! Hey, shh, 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 shh. What's the matter? Do you know what Robert's found on the wall? Praying mantis. Oh. Are you going to swat it? No, 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 no. Linda won't let me. Oh, it's a pet! No, no! <laughs> it's very rare. Did you know that after they've uh, mated, the female devours the male? Yes, and I've got to share a room with it. Morning, Linda. I see you're admiring my praying mantis. See how it sits in attitude of prayer? That's how it got its name. And did you know, after they've mated... Yes, Linda, yes. I told them that. Don't you find that fascinating, Amy? Yes, it reminds me of somebody. <laughs> can't imagine who, Linda. Should we, should we get down to the terrace? I'll, uh, I'll get the beds. Go on. <laughs> what are you looking at, David? Amy, I've got my sunglasses on. How do you know I'm looking at anything? Your toes are wiggling. <laughs> watching Linda, aren't you? Yes, I am, as a matter of fact. Oh, she's very good, isn't she? Very, uh, supple. Yes, you're quite right, David. And she doesn't look like a stranded squid. No, of course not. She looks like that praying mantis. <laughs> that happens to be the lotus position. She can hold that for ages. Is that because she's got such tiny petals? <laughs> There's no need to scoff, no. You couldn't do it. I don't want to do it. You ought to get Linda to teach you. Yoga would do you good. Help you to relax. I'm perfectly relaxed, David. I am now in what is known as the clapped-out position. <laughs> and I shall shortly move into the snooze position. I have no intention of throwing myself about in this heat. Well, I uh, didn't come on holiday to sit about all day. Oh, excuse me, what? Shades? Salamage? Hello, Linda. Have you uh, achieved in a tranquility yet? Oh, yes. Yes, I thought so. Wish I could. You should try yoga, David. It keeps the body supple. Oh, it certainly does. I think the body is a gift we should treasure, a sort of sacred temple we live in all our lives. Now, that's very profound, Linda. You do say some very profound things. Thank you, David. It's like a house. If we neglect it, it falls down. Right, absolutely right. I, uh, think my bay window needs a bit of work. <laughs> Nonsense, David. You've got a very good body. No. <laughs> no, I haven't. Yes, you have. No. <laughs> You're just saying that. <laughs> but you have, David. Broad shoulders, deep chest, strong arms, lean hips. What about, uh, what about the legs? Oh, yes, you've got beautiful legs. Well, I've always had good legs. Oh, your legs are marvellous. In fact, you're in very good shape. <laughs> not bad, not bad. <laughs> Not like uh, poor old Robert over there. Oh, he's really neglected himself. Too much drinking, too much smoking, all those expense account lunches. Hey, if he was a house, he'd have been condemned years ago. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Come on, Robert, what about a few uh, press-ups? I don't want to do press-ups. <laughs> Cartwheels, leapfrog, anybody for leapfrog? In this heat, you must be mad. Oh, come on, Robert, I'm uh, very good at leapfrog. Oh, no, not the dreaded leapfrog. Oh, uh, excuse me, uh, Gracia, uh, Danka, Danka, this way, would you just come this way, please? Just this way, please. Mm -hmm. uh, remain there, this, Danka, would you just, uh, bang, water, and would you, uh, <laughs> wonderful. David, what are you doing there, waiter? Oh, they do this all the time in Bowman. <laughs> hey, Brother Linda! ta ra we wa yo wa yo wa Oh, sure you're all right, David.
leave you? Oh, of course I'm all right, Linda, thank you. I just uh, took a tumble, that's all. You lay very still, David. Well, I couldn't get out with that wager on top of me, could I? Uh, I was just winded, that was all. But you went so pale. Oh, no, no, well, I was taught to fall in the army, you know, jumping off fast-moving trucks. I've uh, always been able to fall. Fall? You went down like a sack of potatoes. <laughs> well, that's how you should go down with the whole body to absorb the shock. Oh, I wonder why the ground shook now. Come and lie that, down. Just stop fussing, Amy. You must be made of iron, David. Well, that's me. Well, I must say that when you got to your feet, leaving that Spaniard just lying there, whining, <laughs> well, I, all I can say is that... I was proud to be British. Oh, thank you, Robert. <laughs> Would have put most people in bed for a week. Yes, I know. I, I still know. think you should rest. No. Look, ju oh, just, just give me time to change, and I'll see you both downstairs in the bar. Well, if you're sure. Oh, of course I'm sure, yes. Yes, you... Do you, you, you do how you do it. <laughs> Listen, Robert, you look after your body, and oh, your body will look after you, and I'll see you both later. Don't look so worried. I'm... I'm... fine. Oh! Poor darling, come and lie down. Oh! I did warn you. I said it would end in tears. Oh. All this rushing about in the heat, a man of your age. Look, just leave my age out You've of this, will you? You've always been the same, David. You're always trying to prove something. Yesterday you went off the high dive just to impress Linda. Well, at least I proved I could do it. I entered that water without a ripple. You entered that water without your trunks, David. <laughs> well, you never did find them. You were blue when you finally came out of that pool. I'm sure that's the start of all your back trouble. Oh, I haven't... Oh, I haven't got... Back trouble. David, you're in agony. How can you say you haven't got back well, trouble? I've just happened to collide at high speed with a Spanish waiter and they are heavier than they look. You ought to get into bed. You're not used to all this exercise. You're out of condition. Oh, all right, all right. So I've been neglecting myself lately. It was ever since they made me redundant. They took away my self-esteem as well. But not anymore. Not any longer. They may have taken my job, Amy, but they haven't taken my body. They probably didn't want it, David. <laughs> Well, it wouldn't be any good to them. It's hardly any good to you. Well, what do you mean? I'm in condition now. If this had happened a few weeks ago, I'd have been totally incapacitated. Probably a month in bed. Whereas now I can shake it off. Get up, go downstairs and have a drink. Oh! <laughs> seen him all day. No, well, you wouldn't have, Linda. He's still on his bed of pain, I'm afraid. <laughs> Worse than he thought. Stretch a case, Robert. Yep. He was making light of it. He was laughing. Through clenched teeth, Linda. He's been incredibly brave, poor darling, but I think the pain's finally got too much for him, so I thought I'd take him a few things up. Thank heavens I brought the Tupperware. <laughs> to get stuck with medical expenses, not here. Oh, poor David. Well, it's his own fault, Linda. I begged him to wear his body belt. He wears a body belt? There's nothing to be ashamed of, Linda. It's a very wise precaution, especially when attempting gymnastic feats and men being constructed the way they are. Well, anything can happen. One false move and strangulated hernia. <laughs> Perhaps we should go up and see him. No, no, no. I don't think he'd want you to see him in pain, Linda. I think he'd prefer to bite on the bullet alone. Perhaps tomorrow. See you later. Bye. That's very strange. You'd think they could afford room service. Well, that's not all. I've noticed something about David. Always wears the same pair of shoes. <laughs> I'm looking for my shoes. But you can't go out. You should be resting. Of course I can go out. I feel much better. But I want to cosset you. I don't want to be cosseted. Oh, I'm quite all right. Now, where are my shoes? Come on, take my arm. You're walking like a little old man. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm fine. Come and have some of my chicken. I don't want some of your chicken. I've, I've made a total recovery. You have not made a total recovery. I know why you want to go down there. You want to meet that praying mantis. Would you stop calling her that? Well, she is. That's exactly what she is, a praying mantis. Do you want to get your head bitten off? I mean, you're so susceptible. It's this place. You've only got to hear those guitars and those grasshoppers rubbing their back legs together and you can't wait to go out and join them. Uh, oh! Amy, where are my shoes? Oh, I've no idea. You're the only person I know who tried to cross Europe with one pair of shoes. Well, that wasn't my fault. You forgot to pack the others. Hey, I wonder if Linda's noticed you've only got the one pair of shoes. Oh, will you stop talking about Linda all the time? Oh, 
<laughs> Interesting. My shoes are here. Now, you hid them, didn't you? Yes, I did. I did it for your own good, David. You're not well enough to go down there. Well, I'm going out. No, you're not. A oh, Amy, give me that shoe. No, I'm not giving now, you... Look, no, stop no, messing no, just give me that. I'm not give me that shoe. Just give me that... It's a shoe. <laughs> yes, I can see it's a shoe, Robert. What's it doing here? Well, I don't know. We certainly didn't order it. <laughs> it must have come from one of those balconies up there. It could have killed one of us. It's all right, Linda. Wait up. What are the people playing at? Throwing shoes from balconies is probably an old Spanish custom. They probably have shoe-throwing parties. You would not get this sort of thing at Bournemouth. Wait up. Ah, oh, wait a minute. I know this shoe. It's David's. Are you sure? Yes, I know it anyway. Look, there's the hole. What's he doing here? Senor? Ah, uh, we found this shoe on the table. <laughs> oh, my God. Shoe on the table. See. Si. No, it is not mine. It is Senor Pierce. The Pierce? Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so if you would return it to him, pronto. <laughs> Go on, chop, chop. I don't think he understands. <laughs> yes, I think he's got the message. <laughs> Good Lord. He's thrown it to the dog. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do all that for? You could have killed somebody. How am I going to explain that? What am I going to say? There's no need to say anything. They won't know whose it is. Of course they'll know. All they've got to do is look for a man with one shoe. <laughs> I never realised you could be so vindictive. I was only thinking of you, No, David. No, no, you weren't. You wanted to keep me here. Well, I didn't come to Spain to stop in my room all the time. I don't want that feeling that I had in England. What feeling? That the whole world's having a party and I haven't been invited. Where are you going? Out! But you've only got one shoe. What are you going to do? I'm going to limp. Bonus, <laughs> yes. Hello, David. Oh, oh hello, Lin Linda. Are you feeling better? Oh, much better. Thank you. Good. I was thinking of taking a walk by the sea. Would you like to come? Uh, no, uh, actually, not at the moment. As a matter of fact, I'm actually uh, looking for something. Oh, where's Robert? Robert, oh, he's gone to bed. Had a headache. Headache? There hasn't been a, an accident, has there? Accident? What sort of accident? Well, a sort of uh, falling object accident. <laughs> it wasn't a falling object. <laughs> now I'm afraid Robert drinks. Does he? Does he? <laughs> Poor Linda. It's not been easy, David. He's bad enough at home, but out here, well, I'm afraid the sudden access to cheap wine has completely unhinged him. He's drinking as if there were no tomorrow. Well, Linda, I can't understand it. And being married to somebody as stimulating as you, I wouldn't do it. Wouldn't you, David? Well, no, of course. Of course I wouldn't. <laughs> Are you looking for your shoe, David? Uh, <laughs> well, yes, as a matter of fact, I am. Cleaning it, it flew out of the window. It was <laughs> complete accident. You haven't seen it, have you? Yes, the waiter took it. Oh, oh, waiter? He threw it to the dog. He did what? <laughs> not, not the one that foams at the mouth. Yes, I'm afraid so. And I think he took it round into those bushes. Would you like me to help you find it? Oh, would you, Linda? Of course. Oh, you're very understanding. Oh, Do you know where he threw it, actually? Oh, 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 Hello, Robert. Is, uh, is David here? No. Madam is, uh, still waiting for her mate. Perhaps she's been stood up. Oh, I do hope so, Amy. I don't think I could stand it. Oh, that crunching away in the middle of the night. <laughs> oh, not with my headache. God, it's ugly. <laughs> And I've got to share a room with it. I do wish Linda wouldn't find it quite so fascinating. Oh, where is Linda? What? Oh, she's uh, taking a last look at the, um, sea. Alone? 
Now, Robert, is that wise? This isn't Bournemouth, you know. There are foreigners. Foreigners? My God, you're right, Amy. I must have been mad letting her go out alone. A whole busload of wops arrived this morning. I mean, that's probably a mafia outing. Well, no, 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 the frogs. Well, they never had any self-control. Look at Bluebeard. He was French. Well, oh, talk about the Spanish waiters. They have to be beaten back with clubs. Well, it's their Latin temperament, Robert. They can't wait to get their hands on a pure English rose. One glimpse of Linda's ivory skin in the moonlight and they'll flip their lids. Uh, we'll see about that. <laughs> no, it's all right, Amy. Panic over. I can see her from here. She's down there by the garden, walking with one of the geriatrics. Geriatrics? <laughs> yeah, some poor devil with a limp. A limp? Oh! oh. Uh, what's the matter? Nothing. Oh! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> It is David. I found it. Oh, thanks, Linda. Oh, I think he's uh, been chewing it. Yes, well, I don't think he gets fed very often. Oh, Linda, I don't know how to thank you. Don't you, David? Oh, Linda. Oh, David, careful. After all, we are but ships that pass in the night and speak to each other in passing. Yes, distant lights across the harbour, faint fragrance of exotic spices, seen for a moment and then, oh, gone forever. Yes, David. But I don't suppose it'd be any harm if we pulled alongside for a few moments. Stand by, Linda. I'm coming aboard. Was that you, David? What? Growling. No. It's the dog. David, look, it's glaring at us. What are we going to do? Well, I think it wants its shoe back. Ooh. Is it? Is it foaming at the mouth, David? Well, it certainly isn't shaving cream. Oh. Look, uh, you go and get behind that gate over there. I'll, uh, I'll get rid of it. Uh, uh, <laughs> Fetch! No! Fetch! Oh, no. Get off! No, down! Stay! 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 Hello, David. Have you had a nice evening? No, thanks to you. David, what happened? Have you been to one of those beach parties? I was attacked! What did I tell you? Did she try to bite your head off? <laughs> Of course not. It was the dog. It was after my shoe. You were attacked by a dog? Poor darling, were you bitten? Well, I don't think so, love. David, what's that on your collar? What's what? Oh, David, it's blood. Blood? Well, quick, get the doctor. I could have rabies. No, wait a minute, David. No, it's not blood. It's not blood. It's lipstick. Oh, lipstick. Oh, well, I'm all right, then. That's what you think. 